I get asked all the time to try out Scratch, but on September 12th, something happened that changed absolutely everything. I've been making games using Unity for years. It's been my cozy little blanket of comfort. Scratch is designed as a way to introduce anyone to programming. Your grandpa, your sister, your mom, even your strange cousin Eddie. So usually devs get comfortable with Scratch and then move to something else, not the other way around. I know it seems backward and, well, weird for a Unity dev to start making games in Scratch, but I have a huge problem with focus. Ooh, squirrel! I felt like the simplicity of Scratch might allow me to explore making games without taking them too seriously. So I started making my first one. The game I decided to make was based on the classic Nintendo game Duck Hunt. I can remember getting the high score by holding the zapper up to the screen like it was yesterday. In the game, ducks fly around and you have to make them go to sleep. To recreate the game, the only thing I really had to do was figure out how to click on ducks just like you should click the like and subscribe buttons on this video. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was just like the perfect opportunity. But seriously, it seemed like a good first project, so I got started. And in just a few painless hours, the game was live, ready to be enjoyed. So it's 8 a.m. here, and uh, I just loaded up Scratch to see how my game was doing, and it looks like it's been banned. It seems like the Kool-Aid I added was maybe a little too far. I'm not calling anyone a snitch, but this one guy definitely seemed to take issue with it. So after hours of hard work, sweat, and tears, my first game was gone forever. And I started to think that maybe this wasn't the place for me. Okay, I've done some thinking. I've made dozens of games, and my Scratch game is literally the first I've ever added Kool-Aid in. I should be playing to my strengths. Cute stuff. I had the idea to make a cute game and crank a cute up to 11. Kawaii Overload! Candy falls from the sky, and the player has to catch it before it hits the ground. The game also comes fully equipped with the most satisfying pop sounds you'll ever hear in your life. It's like ASMR for your ears. Click the publish button and awaited judgment. Were the points on the gate too much? Was the graveyard going to be the final straw? Is someone going to slip on the candy that's all over the ground now? Who's gonna trim these bushes? And then the results started to come in. Scratch featured my game on their front page. Griff Patch made a video about how this was the best Scratch game ever. Elon Musk asked if he could add the game to the Tesla gaming suite. MIT offered me an honorary graduate degree in computer science. Swiper agreed to no more swiping and peace fell across the land. Okay, so maybe that didn't happen, but I did publish the game and it didn't get banned. I also converted the game to JavaScript and put it on my new website, iadev.fun. The place where there's no censorship on fun. Want to see what happens when you overlap a crosshair and a duck? iadev.fun. Want to order a bunch of strobe lights and flamethrowers to run a rave for a stream? iadev.fun. Want to cut a live electrical wire? iadev.fun. Want to find the love of your life and go on an all expenses paid forever vacation with them? Well, you can't. I can't perform miracles. And you can't actually do most of that on iadev.fun, but it does have free web games that I've made. What? Okay, I'll also add downloads for any art that I make for my Scratch games too. Better? If it's not apparent by now, yes, this is sponsored by Get.Fun, where you can support the channel and get your own .fun domain for 90% off by using the code AYA at checkout. They're paying me in truckloads of pork dumplings, which just so happens to be the currency Tice takes as payment for being the channel's new editor. You get 90% off, Tice gets food, I put out more content, Aya stock goes up, and nothing bad has to happen to Tice's little friend Gimbo here. But yeah, seriously, if you have any ideas for small games you'd like to see added on ayadev.fun, 
let me know in the comments. I'll be regularly streaming small games to add to the site here on YouTube. Toodles!